Okay, so um, hopefully that's a bit better in uh, in focus for you guys. But as I was saying, these parts, uh, some of them come tabbed, so uh, it does help with the uh, location of some of these major pieces, so you don't get the alignment wrong. But um, that's uh, quite a hefty part, so yeah, that's that. It looks to me like very good quality. I mean, the edges are really sharp, and there's quite a lot of detail there, and. Here you should be able to see a fair bit of uh, panel lining. So, you know, aside from these massive uh, lump marks, these look pretty good. Now, one of the things um, I noted that is that these aren't proper resin parts. Now, I'm not sure what's going on here if these are like, you know, all plastic or half plastic, half uh, resin or something along those lines, but it's not. They're not properly, um, they're, they're much harder than normal plastic, but it still kind of, you know, flexes a little bit. So it's not a proper resin kit, I don't think. But uh, it's it's got, um, it's still got a fair bit of quality to it. So um, there you can see, again, very tidy on the edging, especially with these, uh, these slits here. Uh, and you know all the edges are very sharp so it's still a pretty good kit but just not like a normal uh, you know G system or SMS resin kit and again here you see uh, the kind of location uh, locating pe um, uh, uh, sorry pegs and um, you know uh, it just helps but again here's an example of a massive uh, massive nub that you're gonna have to cut off very tidily because it's so close to the edge but you know that's par for the course for uh, resin kits so we'll carry on uh, just show you a few more detailed parts you know this this is the rest of the base so I won't show you everything I'll move on to something a bit more interesting but you know here's the actual piece that goes uh, around uh, the uh, the neck the neck piece and um, Let's see if this will focus for you. So there you go. Um, it's very nice. Again, I'm not going to repeat the same things, but I'm just going to spin it around just so you can see some of the detail. Some deep channels there, and uh, you know, a lot of nice bit of work that you can do with this. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's move on to the actual clear pieces, which you get a lot of, because uh, what this is, it's the base. Um, it's going to look like that, and what's interesting is it comes kind of in sections, so that's one section, and that's another one, and that's a third, and that's a fourth. So it's kind of all broken up, which is strange, I don't really know why they do this, because I don't really see how it adds to the effect. But what you're going to get is these little connector pieces, and they will go between each of these uh, to hook them up from uh, from underneath. So um, interesting. Um, just not quite sure how uh, how much it adds to the overall uh, kit, but you know uh, it's nice to see things done differently every now and again. And these are the actual stands uh, to connect the actual model to the. Uh, to the base. Alright, so that's its own sheet. And then this one, um, this bag here, these contain the rest of the clear parts. So this is the, uh, you know, things like the, uh, the cyclo-frame areas on the side of the cheeks. Obviously the eyes and the, uh, the camera lenses and things like that. So there's a few parts here, it doesn't look like much, but uh, if I can just get my uh, glove behind it, you can see there's a few parts there. And as normal with resin kits, it's not properly clear, they're kind of a bit frosty, but you know, you can do things with that. You can dip them in uh, acrylic resin to get them uh, and, and buff them a little bit to, to get them more clear. And obviously you can uh, tint and shade them whatever colour you want. So that looks pretty good to me. And uh, well, what's strange is these do feel like proper resin parts, not not sort of uh, the plasticky uh, sort of material that these are. And case in point are these giant uh, uh, unicorn horns. Uh, but you know, to give you an idea, you would never do this with a proper cast resin kit. But 
you know that gives you an idea on how much these things flex so yeah I'm not too sure uh, whether this kit was worth it or not but it looks good so I thought uh, you know not too disappointed but I would have liked to have seen this uh, you know a bit more like an SMS uh, resin kit so that's the horns and that's kinda if I do that you can kinda see how big it's gonna be so uh, you know uh, it's pretty big considering it's only 135th scale um, so I'll move that up there and there's the other side actually I'll zoom in a little bit on the detail for you so that's your unicorn horn and let's have a look on the other side because when you have this open in destroy mode you're going to want a bit of detail there as well so yeah that looks all good to me okay and uh, the side of the uh, the side of the head um, so let's see if I can get it to there you go um, yeah again there's going to be a fair few opportunities for you there to sort of make these look in, like internal parts um, all the edges are very sharp and uh, what I do know is that some places are quite nice because like here which is the, uh, the kind of back or front of the uh, the uh, unicorn uh, what happens is you got these other little pieces uh, let's get this in focus you got these other little pieces which you can colour and detail separately and that fits in there perfectly so uh, it's very nice um, so full credit there okay uh, let's carry on with a few other pieces I'll move the camera down a little bit so you can see um, okay so this is the uh, faceplate for the unicorn mode and note how big it is it's, it's going to be quite nice I think and um, the only thing I've noticed is um, the only lacking, you know, sort of defects that I've seen with this kit are, are here. It's on this place here. So you'll see on the side of the um, sort of mouth area, uh, you get these little, uh, you know, this little area here. That's not meant to be there. It's meant to be square. So, and then on this side as well, that's obviously where the uh, the plastic or resin hasn't really managed to um, fill in properly. But the good thing is that the corner's there at least, because if that corner was snapped off, then uh, I'd be pretty annoyed because that's quite hard to do. But in this case, because the corner's there and it's just the middle, you can just stick a bit of putty in there and uh, you could patch that up quite easily, to be honest. So no problems there. Um, but, you know, just a little uh, little disappointing nonetheless. Uh, but, you know, easy fix, really. Uh, so there, uh, you know... You want to be a little bit careful with taking that off and still making the uh, front look nice and smooth because that is going to be one of the areas that you're going to really notice it. So there's the um, you know there's a profile view looking good and uh, again you get this uh, you get this like nub that you can uh, sort of connect to block that you can it's like a locating pin so you it, it's going to go on dead straight. Okay. Uh, Alright, let's see what else we got here. Now, this is the top of the head. And there's some very nice detail here, actually, because if you look on the side, um, there's quite a lot of panel lines going on just in that area, but even more so all along the top. So you're going to get a very nice uh, opportunity there to really add some detail in where it matters, because, you know, when you have this on a desk, you're normally looking straight down on it, and uh, that's one of the areas you're going to notice first. So that's looking good. And there's another locating pin there to help you guys out. And really, um, you know, these are all these parts are all much of the same, you know, same deal. But lastly, I'll just show off this uh, this back area. This forms the very back of the unicorn, uh, just above the neck. And uh, this is really cool, I think. Uh, you know, that makes all the difference. you got a lot of detail there to colour in and, uh, you know, do your thing with. And even on the side here, uh, I think this is going to be covered up normally uh, by the actual side uh, cheek. But, uh, you know, you get, you get some opportunities here to do the internals, uh, internal mechanisms. So... 
uh, yeah, uh, it's an alright kit. Um, it cost me a fair bit, and really, whilst it's a lot cheaper than your G system and SMS kits, uh, I'm not sure how this will pan out. But uh, it's definitely not resin, proper resin. But it, then again, you're getting a lot more quality than a normal plastic model. So, is it the right price versus the right, you know, quality in terms of what you're getting? I don't know. Um, I'll have to build this and see. But. Uh, it's uh, it's certainly interesting. I don't have anything else that's like this that made out of this kind of material. So um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, but hopefully, uh, there's a little preview for you guys uh, on this Mr. R kit. I don't know anything about it and haven't seen anything about it. So hopefully, this will help some of you guys out. Uh, if you like this video, then please press like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And until next time, uh, thanks for watching.